So, uh, as you've seen, this is like 3,000 heavy hi-hat. Um, I said in another video that uh, I always wanted, um, I always wanted some 3,000s. And when I, I, you know, kind of getting reacquainted with this line, 25 years later, after I remember first seeing them in um, in sort of uh, in London when I was a kid, um, and 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 it becomes sort of sort of certainly more, much more apparent where the lathing sort of came from on the signature line because it's it's very similar or arguably the same. Uh, the, the the real nerds will know more about that than I will, but uh, certainly visually these look uh, very very similar to. Um, the the later signature line so this top hat uh this and this is something i've genuinely just seen now doing this video so this is uh, going to be a 93 symbol and this uh has to be an 86 uh this one starts 68 and this one starts uh 36 so uh they're both six digit numbers i've never really noticed that then again i've never done a video on these before um, I mean, I got these from eBay a couple of years ago, and the the bloke basically said, oh, they're in excellent condition, and of course, like a lot of people on eBay, he was lying, because um, there's, you know, scuff marks on along here, and I mean, they and, and on the bottom, actually, to a degree as well, um, but, you know, they, they, they sound fine, I mean, they've got a little bit of patinering on the bottom of there and on, and on the top of there, and, you know, I don't care about stuff like that, I mean, they sound, they sound sound pretty cool um i can't say that they're my favorite hi-hats but you know they, they certainly they're, they're certainly very workable um as you might expect i mean the the, the the bottom is heavier than the top um i wouldn't say that the top is overly heavy in fact i wouldn't say that the bottom is overly heavy either but uh you know uh, they work they're 13s they're kind of a heavier 13 um and I and I keep them like I do with uh, all of my 3000s. Uh, I keep them in with my red label 2002s, and I run those as a set. And uh, yeah, they they all work very well. As I said, I, I I think I kind of generally find these to be a little overly crunchy uh, for my general liking. I prefer uh, a softer sounding hi hat sound. But uh, yeah, as I said, time and place they work quite well, and you know they're here to stay. So anyway, this is what they sound like. Thanks for watching. See you again.